what is this? Whoa, this is so cool. <gasps> Mask Lab, I have had so many tests. So we actually, quick story, uh, tested an Indian company called Mass Lab, and then everyone got super mad at me. They were like, that's not Mass Lab. It's like, look, that's their name. I, I, I didn't name them, okay? But it wasn't the Mask Lab that most of you know and love. This is dope. Look at the box on this. This is it's a soft touch box. Oh yeah, you know, I love that. And then they're actually a Korean style respirator. Okay, so that's interesting. So that means that it's, not a Korean, it's not a KF-94. Oh, it's made in Hong Kong. Oh, that's why. Okay, cool. Like they, they're saying, they're claiming FFP2 and EN149, but they're not meeting that standard because they're not putting the, the markings on the mask itself. Why is that important? You're like, oh, that's nitpicky, Lloyd. I always get called out on that. I'm gonna go ahead and start this one. The reason why that's important is because when people are donning the mask, they need to know if this gets separated from its packaging, look, there's nothing on this. Okay, okay, it does say Mass Lab on it. Let me switch, okay, I'm on the overhead. It may say it on here. Posh the mask tight is my favorite lower risk breathability. Mass Lab is very breathable. Well, we shall see, Sue, if it's breathable. All right, so it does say Mask Lab on here, but you can barely read it. It's a, a Sonic Weld, which actually I like because they're going for fashion, but it does not say FFP2. You need to say that on the mask because it tells people, like an N95 that doesn't say N95 on it is not an N95. All right, let's try this. The smell is delightful. It's very easy breathing. I'm not getting a good seal though. The nose wire is not good on this. So when I push on this, uh, when I push on this, it's coming up. I'm getting a lot of gap. I just think if they upgraded this nose wire, this would be probably one of the best masks I've ever used from a style perspective. But does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check out the results. Boom, 97.004, 97.004. Now that's passing standards. Not the best mask that we've had in here, but I do want to point something out here. 73.3 Pascals. It's millimeters of H2O, you basically add a zero. Holy crap, that's insane. That's gotta be one of the most breathable KF94s we've had in this machine. Oh, no, this is not my, this is a different machine in, <laughs> in a machine that we've tested on this channel. That's really impressive. So super breathable. Beautiful, great ear loops. Uh, the fit not so great for me. Uh, I still though, you know, I wouldn't buy this mask. This isn't the mask that I would choose. If I was gonna wear a mask, um, I mean for style, like if you were going on a night on the town, you know, like this is what people do, right, Eric? When they're going on the town, they're like, hey, I'm on the town. No, yeah, but great mask.